Ace is jacked, I got my bullets and diamonds and I ain't holding back I'm all in, yeah, I'm gonna kick it Pocket rockets and take it If you got what it takes, you can play high stakes I'm all in I'm These all ladies in. ain't ladies unless they your ladies It's your hand on a monster, that's what it takes And if you got what it takes, you can play high stakes Last time on High Stakes Poker. Got to stir a pot and get it to boil. Doyle Brunson took $100,000 from Barry Greenstein in one hand, while Greenstein and Million Dollar Kid Daniel Negrano fought to control the table. This is what we call the Barry Bluff. Ted Forrest showed his skills by digging out of a $125,000 hole with timely bluffs and a display of incredible instinct, reading his opponent's hand. The action can only heat up tonight on High Stakes Poker. Welcome to the Golden Nugget Resort in Las Vegas at High Stakes Poker. I'm AJ Benz, alongside co-host and poker analyst Gabe Kaplan. Now, Gabe, we've seen some serious cash change hands here. I mean, hundreds of thousands of dollars. Yet, when you look at these players, you might think they're playing with Monopoly money. Well, one guy once played for three hours with Monopoly money before everybody knew what was going on. <laughs> it is amazing how casual they are about everything. But there's a lot going on under the surface. If you want to really enjoy the show, see if you can figure out what some of the players are doing and why they're doing it. Let's see if we can pick up some of the subtle moves and watch the dynamics of the table change as new players come into the game. Another element unique to high stakes cash games. As we head to the felt, action is underway. Daniel Alahi bought in for $200,000 and has about $120,000 left. He folds. Dr. Amunasiri, an amateur player, started with $100,000 and is now up to about $190,000. 26. Wow, he raises to 2,600 with an 8-3 offsuit. I guess he's trying to steal the blinds here. Jerry Buss, another amateur, he falls. Then on the ground, calls. Barry Greenstein's in. Action to Doyle Brunson. Oh. Yeah, the big papa loves that button. 7-5 offsuit's good enough for him. Really didn't want to play this hand. Jennifer Harmon falls. Why not? Ted Forrest has been on quite a run lately, yeah. having lost 125,000 and winning it all back and about $20,000 more. He falls from the big blind. Three people have called Dr. Nasiri's bluff to try to pick up the blinds, and look at this. Doyle Brunson flops three fives. Check. Check. Table checks around to Barry Greenstein. We'll bet $6,000. The pot is now over $18,000. Well, let's see how Doyle plays this. He's hoping that Barry has a queen with a good kicker. See if he gets cagey. And just calls. He got cagey, just called. Well, so much for trying to pick up the blinds. So it's now down to two players, Brunson and Greenstein. I do get them the long as one. Turn cards at six. Greenstein now has a full house. Six is full of fives and checks to Doyle. Doyle has no way of knowing that the trapper has just become the trappee. Doesn't feel like real money. Brunson bets 15,000. Doesn't it? It never feels like real money to me, though. Me neither. Sometimes. And here comes Barry. Greenstein moves all in with his last $43,100. The pot now stands just over $82,000. And Brunson quickly calls. Wow. Don't you just love Hold'em? Doyle went from an 82% favorite to a 98% dog. Only card he can win with is the case five. No five, Barry Greenstein wins a big pot. Sometimes slow play can work, and as Doyle knows, sometimes it comes up and bites you. And Greenstein takes down over $100,000 in cash, leaving him still down 40 grand for the game. 40 grand will get you a C-Class Mercedes. A lot of people are used to seeing tournament poker where the big stacks put pressure on small stacks. That's a different uh, situation because people have to be worried about elimination, so they're afraid to put their last chips in. Well, there's no elimination here. If I happen to lose my 100000 I'll buy in for another 100000 And hopefully the first or second buy-in, I'll double up and keep going. And 
Uh, I'm hoping to start with the least and end up with the most. That looks better in my hand. Thanks, Doug. Well, it looks like things are going according to plan for Barry Greenstein. Brunson loses some of his money, but he's still ahead over $100,000 overall. He falls. No, so Action's now to Jennifer Harmon. Sean, you have to stand right there and look at my hand. Jennifer Harmon complained that maybe Sean Sheiky is signaling her cards to the rest of the table. You can see Dr. Nasiri talking about it. Ted Forrest limps in with a King-10 suited. Action falls to Jerry Buss. He'll gamble a bit and call with a Jack-7 suited. And the ground was in, as is Greenstein. So four-way action to the flop. Flop comes 10-7 queen, all spades. Check it. In case you're confused, Daniel is talking about a side bet that he won with three spades. But Barry flopped the real flush. He just checked passively. Forrest bets $2,000. The table falls to Greenstein. Who calls? Barry continues his little waltz in this hand, casually just called. Well, turn cards made of diamonds, and Ted is drawing dead. Barry checked, and Ted Forrest bets 4,000, obliging Barry. Now, let's see if Barry uh, continues his slow waltz here, or maybe he'll bring in the whole symphony. Greenstein raises the 15000 The pot now stands at $26,100. And Ted is trying to name that tune right now. <laughs> What's going on in this hand? Does Barry have a flush? A really strong hand? Or is he just making a great play? I can name that tune in one raise. <laughs> And he named it correctly. And Barry Greenstein takes down another pot, this time worth over 26000 in cold, hard cash. Another hand or two, and Greenstein will be out of the red. And Ted was trying to get some information, and Barry was offering none. That's Doyle Brunson's son, Todd, will take his father's seat. Doyle's leaving up $75,000. And the gynecologist is leaving. He's going to make a delivery to his safe deposit box. He's up about $100,000. This is a cash game, and when a player leaves, another player takes his seat. And Elia Lezra claims Ted Farr's chair. Ted wins $20,000 cash. So there's new blood at the table. Let's see if it gets left on the felt. I just want you guys to know, if I sell them all in, I might not mean it. i got to say it twice for it to count. Whatever. We can deal. We're in Las Vegas at the Golden Nugget for more high-stakes poker action. Well, the tables had a facelift. Four players cashed out before the seats could cool down. Three new players jumped in, and there's a fourth on the way. The new players have opted to yeah, wait for the big yeah, blind yeah. before they come in. If they want to come in immediately, they would have to post both blinds, and they very politely declined. So just four players in this hand. Bus folds on the button. The Grano limps in with a 10-8 offsuit. And Greenstein checks from the big blind with an 8-7 suited. And they'll head to the flop. Can I get a letter? And the flop is a 10-6-8. The ground top two pair checks to Barry. Barry bets 1,000. He's got a pair and an inside straight drawer. And Daniel quickly raises to 3,000. Barry's wondering what's going on, but he calls. He's hoping for a 9 or an 8. He doesn't know an 8 would be a total disaster. Nine's what he needs. Turn cards, another 10. Negrano has a full house, 10s over 8s. And Barry's actually drawing dead. He realizes it. Daniel bet 7,000, and Barry quickly released his hand. And Negrano takes down a pot worth $14,600. Play continues, and three new players will be in the hand. We're still waiting for Sammy Farr to join us. Bus falls. Negrano raises the $2,200 with a King-9 suited. Actions to Greenstein with an ace-jack offsuit. What's it to the literal on table? <laughs> Is it like that all night? No, no. Then it barely, then it no, they just started this. Not true, Jennifer. They've been trying to bully the table for the whole game. Flop comes three, seven, deuce, all clubs. What a great flop for the ground. He flops king high flush and checks it to Barry. And Barry has no way of knowing that he's in big trouble here because he's got the ace of clubs. He bets 10,000. Reasonable bet. He's got the nut flush draw. 
Let's see what Daniel does here with his flush. He's got the second nuts, the king high flush. This is going to be a very interesting hand. See if he decides to slow play it. Now I'm going to make it one million. <laughs> what well, I bet a million. Do you mean that? A million yeah. total or a million more? A million dollars. For the second time in this game, Daniel Negrano has bet $1 million. Let's see how Barry plays his ace of clubs. A million dollar bet. Will Greenstein call? It's high stakes poker action coming to you from the Golden Nugget Hotel and Casino. Uh, Daniel Negrano flopped the king high flush and has raised to $1 million, but Barry Greenstein is on the nut flush draw. Will he call? I'd be very surprised if Barry called here. And he's calling, so I'm very surprised. <laughs> <laughs> he needs a club to win, okay, and he so. must know he needs a club to win. Maybe he's kind of hoping that Daniel could have a pair of kings or a pair of queens, and he could win with an ace also. So Greenstein's all in. The pot's now over $200,000. The turn card to seven of hearts, no help to either player. Next card will decide a $200,000 fate for one of them. Barry needs a club. <laughs> River caught a jack of clubs. Wow. And Barry Greenstein finds salvation on the river, taking down a pot worth over $203,000 cash. Samuel. Bad beat for Daniel Negreanu. I'll join one million. One million. Daniel put million in. Barry only had 80000 Don't get excited. Yeah. <laughs> Barry only had 80000 Don't get excited. Don't, 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 don't. Come on. The newcomers are showing Daniel a lot of sympathy. They know what a beat like that feels like. Okay. And Barry made a loose call, but it worked out for him. Daniel son. What's up, kid? Come on, man. Cheer up. It's only one pot you lost, bro. It's not the it's first only because you showed up. Changed the vibe. That's blame it on me. You didn't now play I'm bad. I'm gonna have to bust you. To you get didn't play bad. Next. Going all in with that hand. Sean Sheiky is known for his compassion, and we could see an example of it right now. Right. Well, play continues with a full table now. You've come a long way, Daniel. I have, haven't I? It wasn't long ago you come to Blasio. Greenstein raises the $2,500 with a 6-5 suited. Todd Brunson calls $2,500 with a queen jack off suit. What happened? You're playing too violent against us. We all have two cards like you. 25 more or total? And we all have a hand. You know, we have two cards. We have four cards. Me and Todd. I'm all out. <laughs> I'm all out. Either one of us, uh, Sammy Farhar has bought in for $100,000. He came straight from the blackjack table. He's an all-purpose gambler. So three stay in the hand. The flop has a pair of fours and an eight. Farhar checks. Ming. Ming, Ming, Ming. Barry Greenstein bet uh, $5,000 on an inside straight draw. Oh, I lost there. How could I lose there? I guess I did. And Sammy Farr comes over the top with a $15,000 raise, and the pot is now at $28,900. Sammy Farhar is not going to let any grass grow under his feet. This is his style. He's trying to take this pot away. You just did what? And it works. He showed uh, some expertise at No Limit Hold'em, which probably is his best game. I swear to God I was. I don't hate nothing. I mean, I just want to have. What kind of wall is that? Yeah, so Farhar's right. A bluff like that does deserve applause. He takes down a pot of $28,900 with ease. When you bet uh, your own money, that's real poker. A lot of people uh, can't bluff with their own money. They cannot outplay other guys because they're playing money. Tournament chips is different. What did they lose? Nothing. They buy in, they could have won $50 seat. It's not the same. It's not poker anymore. So high-stake poker is the best thing to do. If you want to play real poker, that's the game. It was one. And this is Sammy Farhar's game. He loves to play high-stakes, no-limit poker. And if he wins enough tonight, he might be able to buy a lighter to go along with that cigarette. You can't go wrong. Number one. I'll have to stay behind trying to play poker. I can raise these two guys up. You better believe it. Now, here's Jennifer, who's one of the best limit players. She's going to raise right here with a jack eight of clubs, makes it 3,000. I hope you fall so I can make the same negotiation. You have to look yet. All right, Jennifer. This time I'll ask you to chop. No. no. Sammy Farhar is trying to negotiate a split of the pot right here without seeing a flop. <laughs> Players are allowed to do stuff like that in this kind of game. I forgot what I have, though, but the camera knows. The camera they knows? Tell me I bet you know, too. I'm going to check in the dark. You're going to check in the dark? 
Flop is a king ace deuce, a rainbow missing both players. Sammy has checked already. Jennifer's going to lead out with a $5,000 bet, trying to win the pot right here. Again, Sammy has nothing. Hey, you're on you. I got four months. You got four months, Sammy? I got some stiffness for you. Wow. And Sammy raises the 15000 with a nine high. He's called the same audible he used in the last hand. He's bluffing again with absolutely nothing. And again, he's picked the right time because Jennifer has nothing well, also. What, I had. what do you got? Me too. Tell me what. I'll pass these cards, pass your cards, and we look. I'll look okay, at let's, let, well, let's trade. I'll we take those cards and you take these cards. <laughs> you can do, do that. that? I'll lock your hand. Come on, Jen. Lock your hand. Let's go play next hand, please. And you know you're going to mock it. just wasting time. I mean, why are you wasting time? Oh, jeez. You need you've been to on, take you, a stress pill today. You've been on. Really? I mean, you've you've been Sean Sheiky brings a little sunshine to the table with his own style of diplomacy. And Farah shows why he's one of the best. He played 341 all three of them, boys. Hey, and he hasn't said Razy Daisy yet. Why didn't you say Razy Daisy in the last part? Razy Daisy. Welcome back to Las Vegas and the Golden Nugget. This is High Stakes Poker, and Gabe, Sammy Farah has been dominating. Well, Sammy Farhar is a classic no-limit player. Usually, we're seeing guys making their moves before the flop. Sammy Farhar can do it at any time. After the flop, on the turn, on the river, he's got his no-limit game together. Well, let's get back to the action. Now, Todd Brunson sits backwards, but that's not the way he plays. No kidding. Table falls around to Alezra. He raises the $2,500 with a big slick. Ace King suited. This is tight. That's too loose for me. I mean, either tight or Let's too get loose. Let's get him. Good. Right, Farhar finally lays down a hand. He did not accept Sean Shiki's invitation to get him. <laughs> so Lezra and Shiki head to the flop. It's a 6 8 king with two spades. Alezra flops top pair. Shiki has a nut flush draw. And Alezra bets $5,500 with the best hand. Let's see how Sean plays this. I don't think you got anything, do I? What? I don't think you got anything. <coughs> he makes a little speech and just calls. So we'll head to the turn card. It's a four of spades giving Shiki the nut flush. And Ellie says, uh, what's up, Doc? Uh, <laughs> you have a flush? Well, let me bet a little bit here just to find out. $5,000 bet from Alezra. And the blue chip comes out. That's $25,000 plus a $5,000 white chip. He's making it $30,000 to go. Sean, shut up all of a sudden. He was all loud and chirpy. Now you're not saying words. The whole table was shaking. Now he's all right. The table is not shaking. What Daniel's doing here is, is really wrong, and Daniel ordinarily wouldn't do this. He's kind of saying, I think Sean has a big hand. And Sean has aggravated him. That's why he couldn't control himself. I don't think you have anything on the flop. And the spade getting there. Same thing on ace queen. The hand I won, I had eight four of hearts. Well, I limped in on the button, hoping you know something would happen. I don't think Ellie needed Daniel's help. He realizes that something's going on in this hand. Ellie is a top player. He checks from. Wow, well, Lesher Fultz. That's a chance we had for some peace and quiet. Yeah, the only time we can get peace and quiet is when Sean has the nuts. <laughs> right? I see one card on there. And then the next card up was... Come on, card, come on. Well, if he could have got stuck real bad, he'd be quiet for a little while. He knows that's my big card. More chirping chips. Shiki wins over $52,000. Yes, but he's not winning any affection from the rest of the players at the table. This guy's a true gambler, lives the Las Vegas lifestyle, and poker's not the only table you'll see him play at. This is laughing with the sheik. I'm gonna try to chop out 100,000 with this four or 5,000 in my pocket. See if I can do it. 
2,500 maximum? 25,000. You gotta raise the limit. Boss, can you raise the limit, please? That was a losing hand. I'm just gonna press it up all the way. Let's see what happens. Yeah. Winning is fun. Just, if you win in, press your bets. If you lose, bet less. That's all, that's the only way. That's the only secret to blackjack. Counting cards, everything else is bull. I won 10,000 plus in four hands when I started paying $400 a hand. That's how you win if you want to win. Like other big poker players, uh, Sean Sheiky has no ego. <laughs> Here's a guy the opposite of Sean Sheiky. Jerry Buss, been pretty quiet. Bought him with $100,000. He limps in with an A6 suited. Calls the $600 big blind. Todd Brunson calls with a 9-6 offsuit. Actions to Farha. Farha with a 7-4 oh, offsuit. Calls. Now Shaky checks with a 5-3 offsuit. Four players remain now. That's my big flop comes 4-5-6 with two hearts giving everybody a piece of the flop. Sammy Farhar's got a pair of fours and an open end straight draw. He bets 2,000. Now Sean's got a pair of fives and an open end straight draw. A little lower open end straight draw. He lays it down, and Jerry Buss, staying in character, throws away a pair of sixes with an ace kicker, and Todd calls with a pair of sixes and a nine kicker. Now the turn card, a king of diamonds helping neither player. Farha checks. Brunson bets $4,000. Oh, I have. Yeah, I had the same hand against Jennifer earlier than I won with it. Farha calls, so we'll see a river card. It's a three, and Farha makes it straight on the river. And that three is not a card that Todd Bronson wanted to see. He's not sure what Sammy has, but he does not like that three. Sammy bets 20000 and Todd immediately throws away his hand. And Sammy Farhar continues to dominate the table. He has not lost since he sat down. Welcome back to High Stakes Poker, coming to you from the Golden Nugget Resort in Las Vegas. Our new players have been very active. They have reinvigorated this game. Any people up? One about every 40 minutes. Lay down. I'm gonna lay down. <laughs> Sammy is actually gonna lay down a six deuce of spades. One card. Two thousand straight. A double T V they want to have a full table. Six. How did you know? Swear to God you're right. But suit is six. Jennifer actually calls Sammy's hand. <laughs> Flop comes Jack Jack five. Alezra flops three jacks and the ground of a nut flush draw. And Daniel slams four thousand down there. He likes his nut flush draw. Doesn't know that Ellie has three jacks. Doubles for doubles, so it's worth double. But then it's lost. I lose for doubles too. So you're not on for doubles, right? And Alezra makes it fourteen thousand dollars to go. Fourteen total. Negrano has to put in another $10,000 to call to draw for the flush. And he does, so we'll head to the turn card. A nine of spades. I'm all in. All in. How much is that? $80,000. About 80000 Are you allowed to see what the river card is? Why not? Approximately $80,000. $80,000. Cash game. I fold. What was the river? No diamond, baby. Don't show him a diamond. That was an ace. Daniel wants to rabbit hunt and see what the last card is. In a game like this, you're allowed to do that in tournaments that's strictly verboten. Daniel would have made a pair of aces. If Ellie checked, he might have won some more money on the river, but he wasn't going to take that chance and let Daniel draw to the flush. I know you had it. No, I saw the jack on the flop. I mean, I have two jacks. I have two jacks. You had a jack in your hand. How about this? Here. Says you had a jack in your hand. Okay. Okay, you got it. 
<laughs> you got it. Huh? <laughs> let's put the 50. I'll put the 50 in berries now. Oh, you were blocked? Yes. Well, you well, found well, out. Well, I don't have to. So don't. <laughs> you might have to. I mean, it's small. You said you want to bet. I chickened out. I'm always last. Ellie was bluffing with no win there. If Daniel would have said, yes, it's a bet, I say you had a jack, that bet might have stood. Sam, you, I mean, you just, you're the best. 24. 24 total. And wow. Daniel raises to 2,400 with a 7-3 of spades, trying to get some of that speed back. Ellie calls a 2,400. Now, Sammy's got 300 in already, and he's been dominating the table. He's tempted to call with this nine deuce of clubs. Nine deuce of spades again? <laughs> <laughs> he knows what I am. I swear to God. I hate to lay this. Remember this. No, I'll tell you what he has. Jen, you want a piece of his hand? Huh? I got to show Jen no, what I had, though. I'm out. That, but, but that's something scary. You want a piece of his hand? <laughs> something really scary. Because yeah. I called your hand? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to say nothing, but it's scary what you said. <coughs> it bothers me. It bothers me playing with you on the same table right really? now after mentioning that hand. <laughs> and I'm going to die if I hit. So it's an Agrano Lesser showdown again. All right, get the hearse. Oh. <laughs> Back it up to the kitchen. <laughs> there it is, nine deuce. Let's throw curveball. Four. $5,000. Daniel bets $5,000. A little spin on it. Extra oomph. Backspin? Coming mm -hmm. back to you? He's got second pair and a backdoor flush draw. Ellie, who really hasn't flopped anything, raises to 10000 Pot is $21,400. Negrano calls. We're gambling all right, boys. I like that. I'm in the right, I'm in the right mix. He's definitely right about that. Some people are gambling. Turn cards at King of Hearts. The Grano's bet twelve thousand. Very good bet. And uh, Ellie has to lay it down. I don't know what to do with that. <laughs> you know what you called my hand? You know what you did? I did, nine, it was nine, nine deuce. deuce of clubs. Wow, that's and strong. And I'm playing it. And you would have flopped it. That's strong. You kidding? I showed a three. I didn't say what else I had. Thank you, Dan. Mm -hmm. From downtown Las Vegas at the Golden Nugget Resort, it's high stakes poker. I'm an honest man. Me too. You know, <laughs> they think we lie about the hands. We never do. We really I, you, now we're proving it. Yeah, right. It's good. It's great. I think both Sammy and Daniel have a future in politics. We said the truth every time. Never. I never lie about the hand. Daisy Daisy. Daisy Daisy. Who? Jennifer. Huh? What? Huh? What? Easy, like easy. Relax. Man, why are you ruining the game? That's a real race. Let's just have some fun. Now, Ellie Lesber raced the four thousand dollars with tens. We are. This is gonna cost you a few thousand. What do you think we're gonna come He's here? He's gotta play? cost it. Six hundred dollars. Tiddly wings. Hey, Colin. Call him on. Let's all see the flop. Nobody. Farhar calls with an ace king offsuit. Man up, man up, dog. Come on. That's Mimi Tran, Barry Greenstein's advisor and longtime friend. Advise Barry to fold. And I already have my children out there. Relaxing, relaxing. Oh, yeah, yeah. you don't have to be stubborn. You never leave your children. You don't have to be stubborn. It'll cost you the whole stack if you play a hand like this. What? But you too. Hold it. Let's do some negotiations here. I'll save with some one of you some money. Let's just chop it. Want to chop the pot? Ask Eli. Ask Eli. Don't ask me. Ask so three players are in. <laughs> Flop is a seven king four. Harmon spikes a set of sevens and Farhar pairs is king. A bit 85. And Jennifer could not be less interested in her set of sevens. She's acting like what's ever on the paper is much more important. I mean, two off me. Yeah. Sorry, you're right. The betting purpose, big bet this time. Yeah. Ellie bets 8,500 on a pair of tens. Wants to see where he is right now. He's in big trouble. That's where he is. <laughs> yeah. 
Right. Jennifer finally puts down that important piece of paper. I know, but I don't want anyone to know. And Sammy Fahar raises to 25500 Seventeen to nine. No, don't. Don't give me that look. Don't give me that look. You're not gonna like it. You're gonna give me. I dropped something, buddy. I dropped something. I'm all in. Are you kidding, Jeff? What? <coughs> Should have got. Whoa! It. Harmon re raises to ninety four thousand nine hundred dollars. No, she has to. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Sammy was a little surprised that Jennifer went all in. Jennifer, let's see how how much it, how it looks. Too nervous. I can't even get this in. Look at me. Come on, go shake it. Get the shakes already. I already have the shake. Eighty-five. Please. Put the eighty-five. Oh. oh yeah. <coughs> that's money. That's good. Eighty-five. No, put twenty-five. Oh, yeah, okay. Push all that eighty-five in. Okay. Uh, Jennifer's already said that she's all in. Just like that, you guys want to steal my money? I don't see any way where Ellie could call here. Yeah. Just putting on a little bit of a show. Now, the guy who's going to have a really tough decision is Sammy. He's got Ace King, and this is the classic hold'em situation that people Did you shake dread. Did you, shake it? you have top pair, top kicker, and somebody swapped a small set. Twenty, forty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, ninety-two, ninety-four, ninety-four, five, ninety. How the phone goes, go, Jerry? Very good. Thank you. I didn't have a You bought who? Well, the pot stands now at over one hundred and forty-two thousand dollars. If Farhar calls, it'll be almost a quarter million dollars in the pot. And Sammy Farhar is wondering what's going on. He's trying to reconstruct the hand in his mind right now. He's pretending to count his chips, but he's thinking about what did Jennifer do? Maybe he's remembering about how she looked at that piece of paper like she was really interested in it. Actually, this is not really a great play from Jennifer. If she would have waited one card, she would have definitely doubled through Sammy. He might still call, but she definitely would have had his money if she would have waited one card. I think Jennifer got a little nervous with the three sevens and decided to play him right here. That's Jennifer's husband, Marco, wondering if his wife's got the best of this. And Sammy Fahar lays down as ace king. Jennifer Harmon wins the hand and enjoys the sweet smell of success. You know, No Limit is a learning game for me. So I basically sat down just to stay focused and observe the game and try and play the best I could. I had a no-brainer. Three fours or three sevens. I had a no-brainer. Three fours or three sevens. That's it. That's it. Jennifer's aggression and limit would have worked. She would have raised, and Sammy Faha would have raised her. She was just a little too aggressive in no limit. All right, I've heard enough about the last hand. The hand's history. Relax. You're making me sick with Why all the these lies. King seven? Well, that's it. You don't want the rest of the people to know you. No, I know that. Yeah, she knows I know that. Seven, right? huh? Seems the whole table knows seven. that Jennifer had a set. <laughs> I mean, that, that's more like it. What's wrong with this? Don't tell seven? me Ace King. She's saying Ace King. No. So what's the difference between King Seven and Three Seven? Right now, Ace four King players have limped in. <laughs> Action is the Harmon with. Oh, what else? Well Ace King. <laughs> you know how to play. You play one pot tonight, you make the nut flush. <laughs> yeah. I right, jump the goddamn gun. What? Jennifer, nice the This time she really has the ace king. Even though I like you, but I want to get some of my money back. Very good. How? Sammy's concerned about this hand right now. He's thinking about if he should call with a 5 6 offsuit. You know, all the money you lose, you're still even. All the money you give away, excuse me. Maybe he's just a good player. 
Who told Chana about this game? <laughs> Let's vote. <laughs> Seriously, I mean, Let's vote. I mean, you're right. I don't play. I'm this serious. Game. So. <laughs> Sammy is not happy with the shiki needle. Sam makes the call with a 6-5 offsuit. Greenstein calls with an ace-4 suited. Brunson's in. Four plays in the flop. It's a three-jack queen of hearts. Brunson pairs his jack and has the nut flush draw. Harmon needs a 10 for a straight. And look at this. Sammy Farhar is going to bluff at this plot. He bets 27,000 with absolutely nothing. And he has picked the wrong time. Todd Brunson has a pair and the nut flush draw. Sammy played the last hand great. He's made some good bluffs so far in this game, but unfortunately <laughs> for him, this is not one of them. <coughs> and Todd Brunson makes it $85,500 to go. The pot at $136,300. Sammy uh, knows that he's caught. He's just putting on a little bit of a performance here. What about the red? 40, 45. Everybody must have been tired earlier. Tired now. Wow, this is more than a little bit of a performance. He just does not want to let Todd and the rest of the table think he was bluffing right there. You're playing direct chips over there? <laughs> he just asked Todd if he was playing his five dollar <laughs> chips also. Are you drawing for a flush or you I don't think you have me though, you're drawing for it. Amazing. If you play Omar, I would have called you. I get two more cards in here. Yeah? Okay. All right. And Farha finally folds. Some back? My money? Just give me some back. You mocked your hand, then you ask a question. That's a little too late. Yeah, you can run them twice. If I call, then I call. Sammy's getting a little silly now. Every time Sammy puts some chips, it's all in. The game is on. It's really on. It's on. We know the game is on. You're watching the ultimate in high stakes poker action at the Golden Nugget Resort in Las Vegas. Gabe, the new players that have joined the table tonight aren't holding back at all, are they? Well, they're very spirited. There's a lot of clashing going on, clashing with the personalities, clashing with the chips. It's kind of fun to watch. Negrano calls with a king, queen offsuit. And you, buddy? Position call it means nothing. It means no hand and no draws. Right now. It actually is a position call, <laughs> and it's a good position no, call. No, no, Four six of diamonds. That's why, that's why I yeah, I Gets the right flop, he could win a big pot. It's heads up, Negrano and Farha. Flops a queen, deuce four. Daniel flops top pair. Sammy's paired his four. Four hundred dollars. Four thousand dollars. Ah. <laughs> If you bet 400, it would be easier for me to call if you bet 400. 4,000 is a lot. You called anyway. <laughs> oh, I didn't know. Doesn't hesitate. Calls, calls 4,000 with his me. pair of fours. Turn okay. card, another deuce. No help to either player. Who are you talking to? Camera? I said check. Do what you got to do. Round of checks. Yeah. Far bets $12,000 on his fours. Uh, he's hoping that Daniel has ace king, ace jack, ace ten. You know, he thinks there's a good possibility that his fours might be the best hand right now. You're right on the button. I could have a deuce. He's just pointed out to Daniel that he has the button, so he could have a deuce. I just want you to, to see it and admit it, you know, because you never see it again unless I'm on a table. Do you and Frank ever play private party, party, um, private games? Right. Am I okay on makeup? I know that I have to go. Well, I'm not going to throw it away anyways. Can we do a little? Frank did? Am I getting cheap? There it goes, $100,000 into the pot. Oh, good. 
He's thinking about it. And when Sammy doesn't call immediately, Daniel knows Sammy doesn't have a deuce. You know I don't have a deuce. Now I'm sure you don't have a deuce. What do you pick up, flush door? You're trying to represent something? I think that's what you have. Oh, God, he's going to count his money, put it in front of him. And then <laughs> Sean, Sean, listen, buddy. Play your own money the way you want, and let us play our own <laughs> money. Yeah, but you make so many comments. What do you want to do? <laughs> you don't play your hand, so don't make too many comments. Just play your hand and your money the way you want. I just know what's going to happen. Sammy is really getting aggravated at Sean, and really rightly so. I, he'll never learn it. I mean, I said, who, who told him that we're playing here? He'll never learn. I snuck in. You see anybody complaining, Sean? Instead of giving me time to think, <coughs> just out of line every time. Sean should not be talking while Sammy is thinking. Sammy might really be exploring the possibilities of calling here. He knows that Daniel is capable of making a bluff like this. Daniel might have two high hearts, ace jack of hearts, ace ten of hearts, and Sammy's force might be the best hand at this point. He doesn't think Daniel would bet so much money with a hand like King Queen. Say goodbye to my cards. Farhad finally folds the hand, and Daniel Negrano takes down a pot worth $125,500. So far, this one's done okay. Except for, oh, actually, I think I threw it in there. People are scared of cash. Sammy looks a little snake bit there. Things stop working all of a sudden. Gabe, yeah, I gotta say, I've never been so entertained watching a poker game before, and I haven't seen people have so much fun throwing their money around. Well, some of the fun they're having is genuine, and some of the fun they're having is by design. But when they're gonna really have fun, that's when they go to the bank tomorrow and fill out that deposit slip. <laughs> then their smiles are gonna be coming from the heart. Well, right now, Jennifer Harmon will be making a $40,000 deposit. For Sammy Farhar, he's been very active, but he's sitting with his original $100,000 buy-in. But Sammy Farhar has been the catalyst of all the action, and that's going to really continue. This game is heating up. Next time on High Stakes Poker, Sammy Farhar continues his trickery, and the rest of the players' patience wears thin. What can I do? Sean Sheiky badges the table. We need to put a freaking fence around Sean. And Daniel Negrano flexes his million-dollar muscle. Egos collide, and the mind games intensify as the table heads for a massive cash showdown. It can only happen right here on High Stakes Poker.